Hello, this is Eva Shehovska, and I will show you the answer key to our quiz that had to do with exploring circumference and diameter and the radius of a circle. Question number one asks you, the circumference of circle A is 30 inches, the circumference of circle B is 30 pi inches. Which circle is smaller? Explain in your own words how you arrive at your answer. Um, the circumference of circle A is 30 inches. That's pretty self-explanatory. The circumference of circle B is 30 pi. Pi is approximately 3. 30 pi is same as 30 times pi. If pi is approximately 3, then 30 times pi will be approximately 90. That means the circumference, the circumference of circle B is about 90 or so. So circle A is smaller because it has a smaller circumference. And I just explained how to get this answer. Number two, about how many times does radius of any circle go into its circumference? Um, the radius of any circle goes exactly 2 pi times into its circumference. The question asks about how many? 2 pi is about 6, so the answer is 6. That means if you measure a circle, I mean if you measure a radius, if you multiply it by 6, you will get approximately the circumference of that circle. Question number three, about how many times does diameter of any circle goes into circumference? The formula for circumference is pi d. That means that diameter goes into circumference pi times. Pi is approximately three. Number four, what is the approximate length of the radius of circle A? If we know that the radius goes into circumference about six times, we have to figure out what number goes six times into 30, and that number is five. Question number five reads, what is the exact length of the radius of circle B? Circle B has circumference of 30 pi, and radius goes exactly 2 pi times into circumference. So if our circumference is 30 pi, that means the diameter is 30, and that means radius will be half of it, so it's 15, and our units are inches. If it still doesn't make sense to you, please email me and I will be happy to explain it more. Thanks.